Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Your backers, Abiola Adibay, angrily react and speaks as some Nigerians win courses and abuses on her. As it earlier reported, Biola Adibay shared a message on her official social media platform yesterday and she called out the government, the legal state government and the president, speaking on the current situation of many Nigerians who are suffering. And she tagged it, I choose to speak. And this was exactly what she shared. Every time I look at my driver, who is not just a driver, but a brother, a family, I keep wondering how he survives on a 50k salary. As a family man, I just have to share what I have over and over again. Some don't even earn that much, or the people that live on minimum wages of 30k. The truth is, an average Nigerian can't even afford basic amenities. Food is extremely expensive in Nigeria. We do respect this in mass. President Mahmoud Dubari, Professor Shibanjo, Jide Sonwulu, Abiyulu Sanya, Dr. Muhammad Abubakar. Food is too expensive. The masses are suffering. Many people can't afford to eat well. They even eat at all. Some of us don't want to live abroad. We want to live in Nigeria. I had the opportunity of living in America, Canada, UK and so on. But I chose to live here. But the economy is frustrating us. If we all run abroad, who will govern? People are willing to run to as close as Ghana. Haba. A lot of Nigerians have become beggars. I know some people are perpetual beggars, but some don't wish to be beggars. But apparently, they are without a choice. I'm so scared to open my DM. My DM is filled with messages of people asking for help. I sincerely wish I could, guys. Right now, my expenses are higher than my income. And I'm trying to cut cost. I'm really sorry. In summary, Mr. Dear President, President Mahmoud Ibrahim, there's so much suffering in the land. Please, start from food. A lot of people are hungry and they need help. God bless you as you look critically into this. She also added that she's not so good at writing episodes, but she hopes she's speaking someone's mind. And of course, a lot of people agreed with what she wrote on social media platforms. As many Nigerians have been complaining about food item costs at the market. In fact, we've experienced 900 percent rise in food cost a spaghetti a pack that goes for 150 naira before now goes for 1500 naira things have become extremely expensive however he shared today on social media again that some people because of this message have been cursing and abusing our social media why according to her a blogger shared this on facebook and it was titled i'm so scared to open my dm Many Nigerians have turned to beggars. Actress Bill Adibayo cries out. And the person which seemed to share the message on Facebook was using the name of the popular actress Yabo Ujo and Biola accompanying this post with, please, is this the summary of what I posted yesterday? Is this what I get in return for? Speaking of an average Nigerian, causes and abuses, I'm he who the Lord has blessed and no one can cause me. Which way, Nigeria? You see why a lot of celebrities don't want to say anything. Bloggers in the name of traffic will twist your right up, give it a baseless caption, and lots of people will not bother to read before reading courses and abuses it is well. And of course, this post has nothing to do with my sister and colleague, Yabojo. Her name was only used to post that on Facebook. So the previous post which she shared yesterday that was supposed to reflect the situation of Nigerians are calling out the government to work on the economy has been twisted on Facebook and She's getting a lot of courses and abuses on social media platform, which was not the message she sent out. For those who may be asking who's Biola Dubai, or for those who may want to know more about her, please stay with us. For a short but interesting biography of this web actress, Biola Adibayo. Her name is Abiola Adibayo, but then she's popularly called Biola Nyoka. She's known for movies like Olaide Rawo, Omar Bore, and Edu Finkokola. And she got that nickname, Biola Nyoka, from the role she played in the movie. In your car. She's known to be one of the movie stars who frown at living fake lives. And she's also one of the outspoken ones. In an interview some years ago, Yola described the society as unfairly putting so much pressure on celebrities. And according to her, the society is fond of setting an unrealistic standard for celebrities. This was in an interview Saturday bit. She also noted that she will not be pushed to steal or do illegal deals to live a fake life. In her words, when I started my acting career and became famous, there were so many responsibilities for me and I couldn't meet up. People started seeing me as a celebrity at that time. I didn't even have the material things to qualify as a celebrity. At some point, I had to ask myself if I really wanted to go into the movie industry fully, bearing in mind that I had other things I was doing alongside. 
The society sets a standard for you the moment you become a celebrity. After Yoka, the movie that made me famous in 2004, I found it difficult to take public buses. I didn't even have the money to buy a car at the time. So it hit me hard. I even had demands on family members and some of my neighbors. They assumed I had so much money. The pressure the society puts on celebrities is too much. I cannot fake what I'm not. Bless God. Because I'm not where I used to be. But I'm not where I'm going yet. I have responsibilities too. It is not like I earn as much as people think I do. But I'm not poor. Some celebrities do what they are not supposed to do. To make ends meet. Because of the high expectations of the society. Sometimes when I'm on the red carpet, they always ask me what I'm wearing. I know they expect me to call the big designers. But in my mind, I always tell myself that I can't steal to buy all those big brands. Sometimes... When they even ask me those questions, I don't even answer them. Even when they ask me who designed my dress, I simply tell them it is a tailor. Even some politicians still just to meet up with the expectations of the people. This was all she told Saturday Beats. Biola Inyoka is a pretty actress from a polygamous family. Her father had seven kids, while her mother has four kids. She had her undergraduate studies at Lagos State University, where she earned a degree in history and international relations. She also studied public administration at the University of Lagos in Akoka for a master's degree. Bill Adibayo's parents divorced when she was only five years old. She lived with her parents who were not so well to do. So her upbringing was tough and she has constantly reviewed this in different interviews. She said that it was not easy for her to. Her survivor was just by the grace of God. Her life is a symbol of God's grace, mercy and favor. It was really tough and rough. But God was on her side. He never left her. She was determined and stayed focused on her dreams. Now she can say God has helped her thus far. She started acting in the year 2002 by attending auditions at the National Theatre and a few other places. In 2003, she auditioned for Wally Adunga's Super Story production titled For the Love of You. She said that that was where she caught her teeth on acting. After For the Love of You, she told her man that she didn't mind featuring in Yuba movies. The very first Yuba movie she featured was Ojabo Kofo which was produced in the year 2003. On the challenges she has faced over the years, especially at the beginning of her career, she explained that every job has its own challenges and acting is not an exception. Back then, it was quite challenging to get movie rules, especially for people like Biola who didn't even know how to mingle. She's a very shy person and introverted. This is a little bit about the job actress Biola Debye. We are coming to the end of this episode where the job actress Biola Debye angrily reacts and speaks as some Nigerians win courses and abuse, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.